A winter storm system blamed for two deaths that brought heavy rainfall, historic snow and mudslides to parts of California may strengthen into a nor'easter as it moves across the Midwest over the weekend. Winter weather advisories, watches and warnings span 20 states according to the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center, which has said eight or more inches of snow is likely in regions of Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts and other eastern states by Tuesday morning. The Washington, D.C. area, which includes Baltimore and Northern Virginia, will receive between four to six inches of snowfall, Jeremy Guider, a National Weather Service meteorologist for the region, USA Today. It could be the largest snowfall the region has seen in two years, the Washington Post reports. Guider's suggestion to those expecting to travel, take extra time and be prepared. In the Midwest, the storm will bring the heaviest snow to eastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois and parts of Indiana and Ohio, the Weather Channel reported. Chicago may see up to 10 inches of snow, according to ABC. Philadelphia can expect to see 5 to 11 inches of snow, between 6 to 9 inches is expected for New York City and up to 11 inches for Boston, according to the National Weather Service. However, snowfall is largely dependent on the storm's track, which meteorologists are closely watching. If its path as moves off coast, areas from Washington DC to Boston will see the heaviest snow, AccuWeather reported. But if it remains closer to the coast, moderate to heavy snow is more likely farther inland. The storm had been impacting California until Friday, and was linked with the deaths of at least two people. One person died near a Mexican border crossing after being trapped with multiple other people in a flooded storm drain system. A skier in the mountainous Sierra Nevada was found dead in deep snow. That area was buried in 9 feet of snow, while the central coast saw around 15 inches of rain, which trigged floods and mudslides. The heavy precipitation was a result of an atmospheric river, which are thousands of miles long ribbons of water vapor, that strengthen rain and snow in the west coast. Contributing, The Associated Press.